Hello everyone, Vincent here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about perhaps one of the most controversial Warframes ever released in the game, Limbo. A lot of people really hate Limbo. Doesn't matter if this by using him, getting teamed up with a Limbo, or generally just how the way he looks or the way his abilities work. Personally, I think he's great. He's one of my favorite Warframes to use. He makes some of the mission types trivial and so unfair you'd actually feel sorry for the enemies. Anyways, to get the normal variant of Limbo, you need to complete the Limbo Theorem story quest which is unlocked after you finish the Arcwing story quest. The quest itself is pretty straightforward although it involves some Arcwing interception so be prepared for that. What I can suggest is to collect 9 of the proof fragments that you need to collect from the first interception part of the quest so you don't need to repeat it anymore. As of writing the script, Limbo Prime's parts are scattered throughout all the eras, his unit optics and chassis being the rare parts that you need to get. Now let's talk about his abilities. Limbo actually has a special mechanic called Rift Walk where Limbo can freely go in and out of the rift plane by tapping the dodge button. While in the rift plane, Limbo and his companion won't be touched by almost anything outside of the rift plane but consequently, he won't be able to interact with objects outside the rift plane as well. This includes attacking enemies with his weapons. Limbo won't be able to do certain interactions like introducing a data mass into a console in mobile defense missions even if the console, the data mass, and Limbo himself are all inside the rift. He can, however, do the following even while in the rift plane. Interact with captured targets, revive downed players in the other plane, open doors including co-op doors that require two people to open it, and scan items. Scanning synthesis targets don't work however. This rule applies to everything that is inside the rift plane unless it's specified otherwise. When Limbo performs rift walk, he will leave a small portal that your teammates can enter for them to enter the rift plane as well. While in the rift plane, you and your allies will regenerate 2 energy per second while killing an enemy that's rift bound will grant Limbo 10 energy. Limbo can stay indefinitely in the rift plane during rift walk until you press the dodge button again, get inside a nullifier bubble, or falling into a cliff and resetting. His first ability is called Banish where he casts a wave of rift energy that damages enemies and pushes them out of Limbo's current plane of existence. If Limbo is currently on the material plane, enemies and allies caught by Banish will be pushed into the rift plane and vice versa. Allies can still roll to get out of the rift plane. Enemies that get pushed from one plane of existence to another, regardless of the method, will take 300 impact damage. Allies won't be able to attack enemies in the material plane while in the rift plane, however their abilities will be able to hit them. Almost all Warframe abilities work across both planes with the few exceptions being Ivaris Artemis Bow and Gara's Splinter Storm. Limbo can banish Warframe allies, enemies, some bosses, defectors in defection missions, hostages in rescue missions, Tenno operatives in sortie and arbitration defense missions, and objective drones in open world nodes among other examples. His second ability is called Stasis, where Limbo stops every enemy that is inside the rift plane. This ability can be deactivated and recast at will and you don't need to wait for the duration to end to do so. Stasis will stop every enemy even if they just enter the rift through Banish, his third or his fourth ability. His third ability is called Rift Surge where Limbo surges nearby rift bound enemies that spreads to other enemies outside the rift when killed. Meanwhile, surged enemies perform a Rageal Banish if they leave the rift either by casting Banish, getting left behind by a shrinking fort ability, or by killing them. And lastly, his fort ability is Cataclysm, where Limbo opens a dimensional nexus in the form of a spear that bridges the material and rift planes that shrinks over time. Limbo will cast Cataclysm to where your crosshair is pointing at, regardless of where you are, not where you're currently standing. So be sure to aim at the spot where you want the pop-up Cataclysm. Everything that gets caught in the spear or enters it will be put into the rift plane. This includes everything that I've mentioned during Banish, with the addition of defense cryopods, excavators and its power cells, data masses and consoles of mobile defense missions, and pickups like health orbs, energy orbs, and resources. Of course, all the rules about the rift plane that we've just talked about will be applied to everything that is inside Cataclysm. 
although this time instead of crawling to get out of the rift plane, you and your allies need to get out of the cataclysm sphere to return to their material plane. Surged enemies will also stay on the rift even when cataclysm ends or it gets deactivated, as it counts them as leaving the rift thus getting banished immediately. The wiki also mentions that stasis will prematurely end when a total of 300 enemy projectiles enter and get frozen inside cataclysm. But I have tested this multiple times in the simulacrum as well as on high level mobile defense missions and bullets don't get frozen anymore inside cataclysm when stasis is active. This change was done in a patch years ago and looks like the wiki entry for limbo seems to be a bit outdated. So in general, here's how you would be using limbo in missions. Cast stasis, then immediately cast cataclysm on the spot where you want it to be. Then cast rift search to put other enemies that aren't caught inside cataclysm into the rift plane to freeze them as well. You will also need to be constantly in the rift plane if cataclysm is deactivated or just traversing through the mission to be safe, as limbo is a squishy warframe and can be killed fairly quickly. Be sure to activate rift search as well before deactivating cataclysm to make sure that enemies stay in the rift plane so you can safely cast cataclysm without rift walking. Now that we've tackled these abilities, let's talk about what mission types Limbo is viable at as well as the various builds that you can make with him. Limbo is basically a good choice to use on missions where you don't necessarily need to kill enemies. All the missions mentioned below will be easier once you have done the new war story quest. Just his passive alone, Rift Walk, makes him a good choice for capture missions since you don't need to defeat multiple enemies, unless the loyalties change the mission type for you. You can bring a powerful weapon, go into the rift at the start of the mission, go outside to kill the captured target, go inside again to capture it, then extract. If you can kill the captured target fast enough, enemies won't even have a chance to damage you. If you have a teammate that's using a different warframe, you can let them kill the captured target and have you capture it from the safety of your rift thing. And as I've mentioned in my previous videos, which I will be linking down in the description, Limbo is one of the best Warframes to use when farming Argon Crystals in the Void because of Cataclysm and because it's generally safe from all sources of damage so you can explore the Void to find Argon Crystal deposits without any worries. Mobile defense missions, especially Grineer and Infested ones, are pretty trivial if you use Limbo. Cataclysm will hide the console inside the Rift Plane and will render all enemy guns useless. In the case of the Infested, you can freeze them with stasis and they won't be able to do a thing. The only thing that you need to be careful with on running mobile defense missions with Limbo is when putting the data mass into the console. You need to get out of the rift plane in order to put the data mass in. Casting Cataclysm will not allow you to put the data mass in the console. If you're running a corpus mobile defense mission, you may want to kill your ability range so that Cataclysm only covers the perimeter of the objective console. Corpus has nullify your crewmen that will destroy your cataclysm when they touch it and this can put you into trouble since mobile defense mission spawns a lot of enemies and your cataclysm suddenly deactivating might cause you a revive or worse the mission. You can also bring Limbo on spy missions as an alternative to Ivara, Loki or Ash if you're tired of turning invisible. Spy missions on a corpus style set regardless of the enemy faction that you're facing can be done by Limbo. You can practically freeze the whole vault area with stasis, cast rift surge, then deactivate cataclysm. You can then casually stroll inside the vault to hack the objective console. All cameras will be destroyed by cataclysm, given that you have enough ability range when you deactivate it, while enemies patrolling the area will be frozen in place with stasis and rift surge. Even if you encounter a nullifier crewman that won't give you a chance to freeze them and spread rift surge, the vault has already been hacked before they could sound the alarm. Plus, with Rift Walk, you can practically walk through lasers. You still need to get out of the Rift Plane to hack consoles, however. The spy missions on Grineer tile sets can be a bit difficult for Limbo, as Grineers have these sensor regulators roaming around some of the vaults that will trigger the alarms when they get damaged or if you pass through their sensors. Having a companion that can turn you invisible, like a Shades Ghost Mod or Hahura Scope Bros stock, can significantly make Grineer's spy missions easier or learn the alternate routes inside the vault to avoid getting caught by the regulators.
Sabotage missions can also become trivial with Limbo, as most sabotage objectives only require you to remove two coolant cells and reinsert it on the mainframe. In some cases, you can even destroy the objective with just one cast of Cataclysm, making the mission even faster. Interception missions, especially the new ones, will be a breeze with Limbo. If you build Limbo with max range and decent duration, you will be able to solo interception missions with good enemy spawn locations. Maps that spawn enemies in only a few locations that Limbo's Cataclysm can reach them. The map on the footage, for example. And with a duo squad, you will be able to finish any Grineer and Infested Interception missions with ease. Rescue missions will also be easier with Limbo because you can banish the hostage into the rift plane and speed run your way to the extraction point. With a decent enough duration, you can extract long before the duration of banish runs out. This makes both you and the hostage safe from enemy attacks. Just be sure to activate stasis as well to freeze any enemies that will be caught by banish. Excavation is also a mission where Limbo can shine the most. Again, as with mobile defense missions, Grineer and Infested Excavations are the easiest to do with Limbo because they don't have Nullifier Crewmen. If you've already finished the New War Story Quest, bringing Limbo to a Kuva Siphon variant of the missions mentioned above will allow you to ignore all the Kuva enemies that will be guarding the Siphon simply by going into the Rift Plane. You can now then focus on the Kuva Clouds. This makes soloing Kuva Siphons and Kuva Floods if you're confident enough Easy enough since you don't have to take care of the Kuva guards. Your operator can also be your means of interacting with the material plane, so you don't need to get out of the rift just to hack consoles, for example. And if you're an absolute mad lad, you can even bring Limbo into Adolan fights. I won't go into full details, but there's another YouTube channel that has done it two years ago. I will be linking the video in the description if you want to find out more about it. I won't recommend bringing Limbo in defense missions. The only thing that you will be useful for in this type of mission is hiding the cryopod or the 10 operative if you're running sortless or arbitrations inside the rift plane. But you yourself is very vulnerable. Casting Cataclysm to put enemies and your allies in the rift can be a bit annoying to your teammates as they won't be able to shoot enemies that are outside the Cataclysm. And remember, the sphere shrinks over time. So never bring a Limbo on the defense mission unless it is a pre-made squad and you and your squad mates have planned beforehand. Obviously, exterminate and survival missions are also a no-no for Limbo as those missions require to kill enemies quickly, especially survival missions. Bringing Limbo in disruption missions give you no benefits at all and during defection missions, you can bring Limbo and banish the defectors into the rift plane but it doesn't stop their health from draining so it is ill-advised to do so as well. Some enemy attacks go through the rift as well, like the Ambulas' electric flare trap and the Jackal's missiles among other examples, so be sure to look out for that as well. Here are the common builds that you can do with Limbo. The first one is your standard range build. This is used for interception missions and when you want to farm for Argon Crystals in the Void. And since Grineer and Infested don't have Nullifier Crewmen, you can also use this for their mobile defense missions or excavation missions. The second build that you can do is a dead ability range limbo for mobile defense missions and excavation missions and corpus style sets. Rolling guard is optional since it can be obtained for arbitrations, but if you already have access to it, it doesn't hurt to put a max rank rolling guard on limbo for safeguard purposes when putting data mass on mobile defense consoles. Hopefully, this video has been informative on how Limbo skill work and how to use him properly on missions. With proper utilization, Limbo can be one of the most powerful warframes in the game as he is untouchable inside the rift plane, which in turn makes some missions trivial. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.